Hello everybody. Welcome to another interesting video on interview questions and answers from career right. Our today's video is specially for the candidates who have a gap or break in their career and who want to return to the active workforce. Now this gap could be because you were not able to find the type of job you wanted, were taking care of an ailing family member, were not well yourself, motherhood for further studies or maybe you purposely took a break to relax or pursue a passion. The reasons could be many. But the most important thing to understand here is having a break in your career is not a crime. If you can explain your situation and convince the interviewer that you possess the required skills and qualities and are still relevant to the market, you can find a good job. While it is true that you may have to apply to numerous jobs before you finally land the one of your choice, if you keep yourself up to date, your consistent efforts will surely bear a fruit. With this mindset, let's see some common questions that the candidates with a break in their career face during the interview and the right way to answer them. During the video, I'll also keep explaining you how to deal with the situation. So, let's start and stay tuned. Question number one, tell us something about yourself. Okay, now before we get into actually answering the question, here are certain things you must know. Number one, Gaps up to 6 months are considered as short gaps. There is no need to address them proactively while answering the question. Number 2. A gap of 6 months to 2 years is considered a short gap, especially if it is recent. Discussing proactively what you did during this break will help you stitch it properly into your story. Gaps between 2 years to 5 years are considered large gaps. I would advise addressing them yourself rather than the interviewer pointing them out. You have to do this without feeling sorry for yourself. Because what this does is, it makes you come across as an honest and confident person who is in control of their life. And number two, it helps you control the narrative. The next thing that you have to know is, gaps that are beyond five years are considered significant gaps and must be addressed upfront. It will help you in preventing the interviews from making any negative assumptions. Now, while discussing any gaps, focus on the activities you did during this period to stay relevant. Also discuss how this period helped you grow as a person. And number two, showcase your enthusiasm to return to the workforce and the confidence that you will be able to deliver what's expected. Also know that after a significant gap, it is not necessary to return to the profile you worked in before the break, you may decide to choose something else as per the market conditions and what's suitable to you now. The only need is you need to upskill yourself with some certifications or some short term courses. A sample answer to this question can be something like, I possess five years of work experience in the field of digital marketing, where I developed a good understanding of how internet and online promotions work. During this period, I also developed my skills on using various analytical tools and making a sense of what the results are trying to convey. The last position I held was that of a team lead for a company that published security software. Last three years, I decided to take a break from active workforce to bring up my daughter. Now that she is ready to go to a play school and I can leave her with a nanny at home, I am ready to return to the workforce. I understand that the word of internet has changed a lot in last three years. To keep up with the changing trends, I have recently done certification courses on social media marketing and web analytics and data analysis. Equipped with my previous work experience and upgraded knowledge, I am ready to be a part of the active workforce once again. See, this kind of an answer, where you yourself acknowledge the gap, demonstrate your relevance and give them a confidence that your responsibilities at home are well taken care of, now put you in a position of control and they make you attractive for the employers. Okay, let's move on to question number two. Why should we not hire someone who has been a part of the active workforce all these years? Now see, this question is like a direct challenge. To answer this question, use all the strategies I mentioned in the previous question. Acknowledge that some people have been in the industry without a break and then quickly come to how the break has made you a better person. 
how it has helped you improve your perspective that can now help the company also a sample answer to this question can be something like yes i realize that some people have been a part of the active workforce all these years but as i mentioned i have brushed up my skills to ensure that i can contribute to any company from the day one of joining in addition to this during these years i have pursued yoga and meditation very regularly which has given me a deeper perspective into life and situations also if you put me in any challenging situation at work today i can very easily and quickly work out a solution and come out of it without losing my calm the mental peace and physical fitness i have gained in these years has helped me develop a fresh perspective about everything in life i'm sure this fresh perspective will help your company as well see i talked about yoga and meditation just as an example you can talk about something else also that has broadened your perspective but the bottom line is to be able to provide this kind of answer you have to do something during that time that adds value to you fantastic now let's move on to a question that you are going to definitely face during the interview and the question is what are your salary expectations now this is a very important question especially because a lot of candidates and employers feel that the candidates with a career gap must accept a salary cut taking a salary cut or not should actually be decided by how updated your skill set is how much demand for that particular kind of position is in the market to answer this question and get the best salary i would advise taking certain steps to prepare yourself first of all find out what the market offers for this kind of position in your industry and city class store linkedin salary can be good resources to find this out this will help you know your own value then highlight your skills value addition during these years and most importantly talk about the gap confidently and stress on how you have kept your skills up to date and have also improved as a person if the positions in the industry of your target are large in number the chance of employer negotiating the salary heavily are less in case you decide to negotiate try to negotiate as close as possible to the industry standards however if the number of positions of your kind of profile are less in the market you may have to negotiate more but i'll just give you a quick trick to do that and the trick is in this case agree to take a cut but negotiate for a review after some months based on the performance basically be confident but stay flexible is what i would say a sample answer to this question can be something like i've checked the industry standards the salary prevalent for this position in the market lies in the range x to y i've kept my skills up to date and also ensured that i improve as a person in these years so that i can add value to any employer on my return to the workplace so i expect something in the same range if you are agreeing to take a salary cut you can change the last line to however i am open to reconsider it based on the growth opportunities and a performance based review after 6 months so do you realize how this kind of an answer can help you get the best that is possible in your interest so these are some common and important questions usually asked during the interviews if you have faced any other questions do share them with us in the comments box below also let us know which positions are you applying for maybe you can find an employer scrolling down the comment section of this video hope you found the video useful let us know by giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with somebody who you think would need it i'll see you very soon with a new video till then bye bye and take care